An ecosystem is a community of interconnected living organisms, such as plants, animals and microbes, and their physical environment, such as water, soil and air, interacting with each other. Ecosystems can be vast, like the Amazon rainforest, a desert or a lake, or as small as a tide pool. Each ecosystem is a web of life that thrives on the exchange of energy and nutrients. At the heart of every ecosystem are its components, which can be divided into two main types, biological and physical. First, we have the biological components consisting of all living things. These are categorized as producers, consumers, and decomposers. Producers like this tree are the base of an ecosystem's energy pyramid. They capture energy from the sun and convert it into food through a process called photosynthesis. Next are the consumers. Consumers are animals that eat plants or other animals to get their energy. We classify them into groups like herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores, depending on their diet. Finally, decomposers break down dead organisms, returning vital nutrients to the soil, which helps plants grow and sustain the ecosystem. Now let's talk about the physical components, which include sunlight, water, air, and soil. These non-living elements are just as essential as the biological ones. Sunlight provides the energy that drives almost all ecosystems. Water is necessary for all life and affects everything from nutrient uptake in plants to the living conditions of aquatic animals. Air, particularly the carbon dioxide within it, is essential for photosynthesis. And soil not only supports plant growth by anchoring roots and storing water, but also houses countless organisms that contribute to decomposition and nutrient cycling. Each component of an ecosystem relies on the others, creating a complex and interwoven system. Understanding these connections helps us appreciate how delicate and interconnected our world is. Ecosystems vary greatly in size and type, each with unique characteristics and life forms. Let's tour some of the main types of ecosystems found around our planet. First, terrestrial ecosystems are ecosystems on land. One of the most well-known types is the forest ecosystem, which can be divided into tropical, temperate, and boreal forests. Grasslands, including savannas and prairies, are ecosystems where grasses are the dominant vegetation. These areas support a wide array of wildlife, from grazers like zebras to predators such as lions. Deserts, known for their dry conditions, sparse vegetation and extreme temperatures, are also significant terrestrial ecosystems. They are not lifeless. Instead, they are home to a variety of life forms adapted to harsh conditions. Next, we have aquatic ecosystems. The main aquatic ecosystems are marine. They cover over 70% of the Earth's surface and include oceans, coral reefs, and estuaries. Freshwater ecosystems, such as rivers, lakes, and ponds, are vital for the water they provide to terrestrial life forms and for supporting aquatic plants and animals uniquely adapted to fresh water. Each type of ecosystem plays a critical role in sustaining life on Earth. They provide habitat, food, and resources for living organisms and offer services vital to human survival, such as clean water, air purification, and climate regulation. Ecosystems vary widely, but they all share a common feature, interdependence. Interdependence in ecosystems refers to the reliance of organisms on each other and their environment to survive. This intricate network ensures energy flow, nutrient cycling, and ecological stability. Even minor changes affecting one component can have devastating effects throughout the ecosystem, demonstrating the delicate balance of nature.
While ecosystems are powerful networks of life, they are also vulnerable to changes, especially those caused by human activities. Human actions, such as industrial pollution, deforestation, and overfishing, have devastating effects on ecosystems. These activities disrupt the natural balance, leading to loss of biodiversity and degradation of habitats. The consequences are visible. Endangered species struggle to survive once lush lands are now barren and waters are no longer safe. But there is hope. Conservation projects like reforestation and the creation of marine protected areas help restore balance and protect ecosystems. By supporting these efforts, we contribute to the health of our planet. We can also reduce our ecological footprint. Simple actions like recycling, using less water, and choosing sustainable products can have a big impact. Together, we can protect and preserve our ecosystems for future generations. Every action counts, and every person, including you, can make a difference.